Hey guys, Sarah Gorn here, Blue Maroon on the interwebs, here to give you a bit of a tutorial. I just want to give you guys a tutorial on if you're using Toon Boom for your film, how to export your video with the best settings. So I'm going to show you one, the best settings to export if you're just exporting straight from Toon Boom as a movie, and I'm also going to show you guys how to export a PNG sequence. The, up, the benefits of doing a PNG sequence are you can get the best quality, zero compression, you can also export with alpha channels, you can have transparency, and I usually always export PNGs whenever I can. So I have two video files up here, and it's just kind of just show you guys the difference between two of the more common ex movie exporting options on Toon Boom. The one on the right here you can see is a lot more whitewashed compared to the one on the left. And this is because on this one, I use the QuickTime H.264 option. I highly recommend never using that one, because as you can see, the colors are just destroyed. It's nothing like how it's supposed to be. Um, the one on the left here, I use the animation one on the best settings, and you can see it's much better. It's exactly how it's supposed to be intended. So I'm not sure why the QuickTime uh, H.264 option doesn't work. I'm not sure if it works differently on Mac or if it's on PC. I'm using a PC and this is what it does to my videos, so because of that I'm just going to suggest you guys never use the H.264 uh, export. So yeah, as I said, animation export is the way to go. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how to do a PNG sequence using Toon Boom. So I'm just going to open it up here. And so I'm going to go into my node view. If you guys don't know how to go into your node view, it's just Windows and node view. If you're using an older one, I think it might be called network or something like that. Um, if you don't know how to use a network or understand it really well, um, you guys can ask me and I can show you guys how to do that if you like. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I made mine, mine's a little complicated and a little messy because I have a lot of effects and different cutters and stuff going on here. Um, but when you open up a new project, you're going to have your main composite, which is going to have a display and a write node. I moved my right node up here because I just wanted to export this section over here. So the great thing about right nodes, these are what you're going to be using to export PNG sequences. And you can make as many as you like, so you can copy, paste, you know, connect them to different things and export different layers at different times, or at the same time I should say. And so for example, I'm just going to show you how to export this one layer here, just for simplicity. So say you're wanting to export just your character animation, you'd attach it to your character animation layers. And so yeah, once that, once you have that done, you can have the right node here. Just click on the yellow, little yellow box here beside it, and it'll open up this little option box. So up here is just the name of the right node, you don't really have to deal with that. It's going to ask you what folder you want to go to, so I'm simply going to my desktop. Oops, not just my desktop though. I want to go to my desktop and put it in my test file that I made specifically for this. I'm also just going to name my drawings test, which is what the option right here is. And you're just going to keep this drawing thing selected, so you want to start at frame 1, and the leading zeros is just what the what the numbers preceding or after it are going to do. I usually do just three zeros because unless you're doing a really long animation you won't be needing more than that. And the most important thing on here is the drawing type. So to do a PNG sequence, obviously you want to do PNG, but if you want to have a transparent background and an alpha layer, you definitely want to have PNG 4 selected. I use PNG 4 for pretty much everything, um, unless there's no real need for you to have transparency, then you do PNG, but just to be safe, I always do PNG 4. So once you have that, you just click close, nothing more to do with that. And now to export using the right node, you're going to go here, under file, go export. Instead of going movie, you want to go render right nodes. When you click that, this little pop-up is going to pop up. Just click all frames and go OK. Now this is going to render your frames into the file that you selected. I'm just going to let this run and once it's done, I'm going to come back and show you guys what happened. And here we are. So all the frames have been exported. Um, depending on how many, if you're, the layer you're exporting goes to the end of your video, you're going to have all these black frames at the end. You can just delete them, they're not really important. But you definitely want to keep the ones in the beginning, because that's the padding that's going to show when your animation starts. Oops. And so when you look at these, it looks like they do have a bubby background, but when you double click on them, you'll see that they are transparent. And so with that, you can export 
or you can import these into After Effects or Premiere as a PNG sequence. When you do that, make sure you interpret the footage as, um, instead of having a frame rate of 30, you want to make sure it has a frame rate of 24, because that's what you're probably animating on. If you're animating on 12 or something, then do it as 12. Uh, but yeah, that kind of wraps it up. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask, and I hope this helped. Thanks, guys.